Energy efficiency is crucial to ensure that we have enough capacity specifically to meet essential maintenance windows. We can deal with the capacity that we have. The issue is whether or not we have enough reserves in order for us to deal with the, the maintenance we need to do. And the maintenance needs to be allowing us to, on a proactive basis, ensure that we protect the system. On the demand side, uh, the savings for the financial year ending March has been 372 megawatts. We're targeting in the new financial year over 300 megawatts, 311, and obviously An Andrew and his team will uh, get a tougher target than that, and that I can assure you. Eskom's Integrated Demand Management Unit has a budget of 1.8 billion rand to achieve its energy savings targets in the current financial year. Well, the 1.8 billion is part of the 5.4 billion that was given to Eskom by the regulator over a three-year period. So this is part of our commitment to save 1,000 megawatts over three years with that amount of money. So the next year, as you correctly point out, 1.8 billion rand. And for that, we need to save at least 311 megawatts. That's the equation. The technologies that we'll be looking at will be a continuation of our solar water heating program. I think both for the high pressure as well as the low pressure systems, we, we would want to continue the momentum which has certainly been built up very strongly over the last couple of months. Secondly, in terms of lighting, we have, uh, over the past four years, done an extensive program on lighting within the residential sector in particular, uh, to the extent that we've virtually saturated uh, many areas of South Africa with compact fluorescent lamps, which has given us great savings. We now need to look at other lighting technologies, in particular downlighters pose the next big opportunity for us. So we're currently in discussions with the lighting industry as to exactly how we would do that and what technology would be best employed. So we'd be looking at uh, LED technology as well as uh, small compact fluorescent downlighters as the most likely candidates. So watch this space. We will, as soon as possible, be making an announcement as to, as to how that moves forward. We also announced the launch of our heat pump program, a heat pump also available to our residential customers as an alternative to solar water heating. Once again, a very impressive technology, giving actually the same amount of energy savings as a solar water heater, bearing in mind that a solar water heater would save about 70% of the water, of the electricity of a conventional geyser. There would still be a backup element which would run from time to time. And a heat pump similarly would reduce water heating costs by 70%. So this is now available and we're hoping that there'll be a big uptake uh, on, the, on the heat pump as well. We're working together with, with commerce and industry to identify bigger projects which would come through our normal evaluation pro project and our normal funding model, which involves paying, um, in certain cases, more than 50% of the installed costs of uh, energy efficiency programs. So all in all, uh, a wide portfolio of projects which will be brought together and which will run, which will... Uh, get us as soon as possible to our target of 311 megawatts. 311 megawatts is roughly 10% of the size of a new big power station. And a new big power station would cost about 100 billion rands to build uh, conservatively. So just doing the maths, uh, we'd be looking at roughly, roughly speaking, about uh, avoided supply side costs of about 10 billion rand of capex. Um, so the, 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 the business case is extremely compelling, um, spending 1.8 to save 10. A very important consideration aside from the cost is of course the, the fact that from an environmental point of view we zero, we've got, we zero uh, CO2 so it's a perfect environmental solution to, to go for and in these times that is crucial. And then lastly of course from a timing perspective we can roll out demand side management programs a lot quicker than building a new power station and as we saw during the press conference today that is absolutely key so I think on a number of parameters it's a no-brainer. We've got to do it and we've got to do it quickly and it makes sense on, on every dimension.